a welcome. We're in the village of Laycock in Wiltshire, lies between Chippenham and Melpsham, and it's a National Trust village, one that is often used in film sets, including Harry Potter and many period dramas. So this is the walkway through from the car park through to the village. And we're going to show you around the village and some of the uh, beautiful buildings that you're going to see here are truly amazing, going back many hundreds of years. So uh, do enjoy the journey with us. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, of course, do subscribe to the channel. And uh, we look forward to bringing you many more videos. So this is the Fox Talbot Museum, National Trust, and the Abbey. We'll take a look around there later on. Fox Talbot was... Uh, put down as one of the inventors of photography and so uh, there's a museum in there dedicated to him. There was so much wind noise along this section of the road I've decided just to do a voiceover. Uh, the house that you can see on the corner there is quite interesting, very old. I do know a number of people that have lived in Laycock and a gentleman who died now back in the 70s I believe it was, was born in that house. Uh, in the late 1800s. On the left there we have the Red Lion that has been used in many films and uh, dramas so uh, you'll see that in some little bit of disguise as it were on some of the television and films that you'll see. So as we walk along now we'll move from the high street, we'll turn right and we'll go and have a look at the Tithe Barn as well as the street you'll see. But these are beautiful old buildings here many many hundreds of years old so uh, that is really good when you can have a look at the, the history that has filled Laycock over the years. Uh, the house on the corner I was just mentioning, we just take a look at that. Again, just look at that overhang of that sort of Tudor style. Well, it has actually Tudor uh, woodwork. And then now we're going to tow, go and take a little walk into the tithe barn itself. And uh, beautiful beams that we can see there. Lake of Village Hall. Coming up is the Watling Jewellers. Mr. Watling, no longer with us, but he started this business back in the 70s. He was a school teacher at a school in Melksham and got into the jewellery business making beautiful jewellery. So we'll turn right towards the church here. the hunting lodge tea rooms and restaurant.
This is the church on our right. around here is the Lake of Pottery, more of Mr. Watling's jewelry. This whole place here. It's going to be no milk back in the day. Take a walk down to the ford actually. So uh, you have to see where the river crossing is. Lots of little enterprising businesses go on in Laycock, as you can see. This has been used in the Antiques Roadshow for one of their intros. Let's take a walk around the corner. Oh, we better get a vehicle come through the Ford. Just in time. Yeah, drive down the river. back down the road from the hunting lodge onwards we're going to take a walk further down now as well so let's pick up the trail from the Laycock bakery I'm going to go past the pub the sign of the angel extremely old properties down here and you can see why they love to come with film crews and do period dramas in a place like this and they usually cover the road with mud to hide the tarmac. All the signs get removed that might indicate it's uh, 21st century. So I'm going to go back a few hundred years into the past and we have the sign of the angel pub here. It's an extremely old pub. garden behind as well to enjoy. Just look back at the pub as well. Beautiful old lamp there isn't there? Another one of Laycock's pubs over there, the George. 
Now interesting, I believe in the George there is a fireplace with a spit which used to be turned by a little dog in days gone by. The little dog would run around in a little ring, a bit like a hamster does, and uh, turn the pig on the roast, whatever meat was the flavour of the day. There's some nice uh, topiary there, turn that into a little castle and a dog kennel by the looks of it, or a house. Like if you like gin, you can get your own uh, Laycock gin. It's made here. And, uh, little shop, quintessentially English. Now we've almost gone full circle. When we turn left, we're back into the high street where we started. And so we'll take a look at the, the buildings that way. And then we should go to the Abbey. Let's give you a look back down the road. As you can see, you can see why lots of visitors come here. Even though it's uh, being filmed now on October, and uh, what was today? 12th today of October 2021. There are still a number of visitors actually here. You see, most of these properties are over 500 years old, many 600 plus. And the little village shop, this lovely bow fronted window. And then coming up on the left, we have uh, the Victorian School. There's very limited development around Laycock, within the centre, of course, it's uh, all National Trust. Back to the red line on the end. Then. This is the school. Shame we have to have the modern vehicles parked in front. Of course, when these are film sets, there's nothing visible that is new. And we have a National Trust shop, of course. Gotta have one of those. More enterprising people. Got a clock in the door. So this is Lake Okabi. We're going to take a walk around the outside of it. We're not allowed to film inside National Trust properties without permission and licenses and all that kind of thing. So we're just going to take a walk around the gardens, show you the beauty of those and hope you enjoy it. So firstly we're going to take a walk around the Botanic Garden. There you go. Great for kids as well.
I hope you're enjoying the walk around the, the gardens here. It's a very well established woodland, lots of very tall trees. And let's see where this sign will uh, direct us to go to. So we have a rose garden, orchard and rockworks that direction. So the Talbot family, that's uh, descendants of Mr. Fox Talbot, the photographic man. Are you going to watch the sky tonight? See what you can see? I'll leave that to you. So over there we have the Rose Gardens. open countryside ahead. Some sheep in the field over there. Now if you're not a subscriber yet to my channel please do click that subscribe button and if you click the notification bell as well well you'll know every time we put a new video on for you. Go on to the rockworks. We'll see you there in a moment. The rockworks, just looking at this open field system here, and it looked like somebody's playing a little bit of a game with that old tree stump there, making it look like a figure. Let's zoom in for you. What do you think? Looks rather like a person, doesn't it, with all that uh, twiggery on his head? So we have arrived at the Rockworks, and this is it. This is the stream where the vehicle went through the fort, comes all the way through Lake Rock. Now we've just entered the Rose Garden. There's a small area of uh, roses. So join us as we move on now, closer to the Abbey. To the Abbey route via the pond. Why not? Let's go this way. There we go, that's something too interesting to find. We have found the pond. Look. Every monastery had a pond in its day, so they could uh, keep carp, and of course carp is one of those uh, freshwater fish that can be eaten. We 
have a view of Lake Okapi. The pond behind me, this glorious sunshine. There's the abbey. And a final view there, close up of the abbey and the grounds to the front. That's a work of art, isn't it, that chimney? Definitely a work of art. Thank you for watching Roland's Travels. I really appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and if you'd like to know every time a new video goes live, click the notification bell. Once again, thank you for watching.